All right, what's going on everyone? Today I'm going to show you how to upgrade a Magic Arena starter deck that you get for free on your Magic Arena account. We'll be upgrading the deck in two stages. First, I'll show you how to upgrade the decks with no rares so you can upgrade it on a budget, not spend a bunch of rare wild cards because they are rare, they're precious. You get precious few of them, don't waste them. But then afterwards, I will show you some rares you can add to the deck to power it up even more if you want to. So today we're upgrading the Starry Eyed deck, which is a blue white deck with a focus on artifacts and enchantments. You can see it with cards like Shambling Suit, Archon of Sun's Grace, Brine Giant, all of these get more powerful if we have more enchantments. The Shambling Suit has more power, Archon puts out tokens, Brian Giant gets cheaper so you can cast it for very little mana, so on and so forth. There are some really bad cards in the deck though. For example, the Lionfish and the Naiad are both, you know, technically enchantment creatures. The reason these are in the deck is because they are enchantment creatures, so they kind of fit with the theme, but they kind of suck, so there's that. So we're going to fix that. We're going to take these bad cards that are eh, technically sort of on theme, but also don't really do anything for us and replace them with things that are actually good. So we'll be taking out the three stinging lionfish and replacing them with all seed of life's bounty. So this also counts as an enchantment. It's an enchantment creature just the same, but the ability is much more useful because it can be sacrificed to protect a creature. And that's important in this deck because one of our best win conditions is all that glitters. But once we put it on a creature, that creature is very, very vulnerable. If it gets hit with a removal spell, well, that's kind of a bummer. So having that sort of protection, right? That little sphere of protection in the form of the all seed, very nice. So definitely more useful than the lionfish. We'll also take out two Naiad of the Hidden Groves for two Shambling Suits. This is much more powerful. It's on theme. It's an artifact. Um, I don't think Shambling Suit is 100% like tier one. It's not a tier one card necessarily, but it is better than the Naiad. So it's a pretty big improvement over that for, you know, a common or an uncommon. Next, we'll take out Thirst for Meaning for Banishing Light. Uh, the Thirst for Meaning is great, but I really want to increase the enchantment count and the problem with the Thirst is it does draw three cards and it lets us, you know, discount the drawback if we have enchantments. But the great thing about Banishing Light is it's a great removal spell. It's actually played in a lot of meta decks and also it sits on the battlefield as an enchantment and increases our enchantment count, so it's great. Next, we'll take out the other two Thirst for Meanings for two Omens of the Sea. And I actually think if you wanted to stick at three Banishing Lights, you can instead replace three Thirst for three Omens. But the reason I want the Omens instead is because much like Banishing Light, it sits on the battlefield and counts as an enchantment. We get that same ability to just dig through our deck to find key pieces. But afterwards, it sits on the battlefield and increases our enchantment count. So pretty good. Next, we're replacing Capture Spheres with Bubble Snares. So these are basically the same thing. I mean, uh, they, they keep a creature tapped. The only difference is the Capture Sphere taps the creature and Bubble Snare doesn't unless we pay for the kicker cost. But if you can afford to play Capture Sphere, if you have four mana for Capture Sphere, then you can pay the kicker cost for Bubble Snare anyway. But it has the added benefit of being able to be played for cheaper if you just want to pay one mana and keep something tapped down that's already tapped down. So it's cheaper, but also if you need to tap the creature, then they cost the same basically. So no reason not to play Bubble Snare. Next, we're taking out Midnight Clock for all that glitters. Midnight Clock is actually a really cool card. It's not seen like a ton of play, but it's really cool, but it doesn't really do anything in this deck. I mean, technically it's an artifact, but we're not really ramping into anything. So it's like, we don't need the mana. Um, The draw stuff is cool, but that takes forever and all that glitters will just win the game like there's times when you can just play a couple all that glitters and if the opponent stop playing black to remove the creature then like you just win so all that glitters really good definitely gonna win more games than midnight clock in this specific deck next i want to take out one of the islands for a fourth all seed of life's bounty um the mana curve isn't terrible with this deck and i think 24 is fine and having that fourth like sort of protection spell of a, in a sense that can protect our all that glitters creature is uh very useful so moving on to the rares and mythics um this is pretty simple because there's basically only one rare that i want to add to the deck uh, kind of weird but that's that's basically it but i want to replace the two bright giants with two archons of sun's grace this card is kind of amazing uh four mana three four flying great and also it's going to put out tokens every single time we play enchantments which our entire deck is so it's really really good bright giant's big but it's clunky we're not always going to be able to cast it it might just get chump blocked forever the fact that the archon has flying and also puts out a bunch of tokens um archons will just win games giants can be really cool like there's times when you can pay like 
three or four mana for a brine giant on turn like four or whatever and it's really cool but most of the time it's kind of clunky it's kind of hard to cast and it's usually not as powerful on the field as archon so uh, i like that a lot better i also want to take out the luminous brood moth for a fourth archon this is a tough one because the brood moth is so good i really like the brood moth and it's actually pretty crazy with the all seed thing because uh you can you can pay one sacrifice all seed to protect like the archon for example and then the all seed will come right back into play and it'll actually trigger the archon and put a token into play because that's an enchantment coming into play so it's actually pretty cool so it's tough um i really like the brood moth but the problem is a lot of our creatures already have flying so we don't have a ton of opportunities to like get a ton of value out of the brood moth and also like if a creature with the all that glitters dies we would just brood moth will bring the creature back but not uh the enchantment and also like it, it's also kind of good with shambling suit because shambling suit dies in combat a lot so like it, it's tough it, it's a good card there's problems with it it's not perfect but also like it has some cool stuff going on so maybe this isn't 100 necessary but i just think that archon will win you a ton of games so having a fourth one of those is my preference personally if someone was like nah i want to keep luminous brood moth and then like i uh, sure i guess like it, it's a good card i just i think in more situations archon will actually just win more games but brood moth is cool so you know it, it's fine it's definitely a great card to have if you didn't have one already you got one on your account when these decks were made so that's cool play it in another deck because i i definitely have it's a great card um finally i want to take out banish in the fable for an elspeth conquer stat that's right uh I, I forgot there's there's two rares i want to add but only one copy of this um the banish is cool right if we have an enchantment and an artifact it can bounce three creatures and create three tokens which is pretty sweet but I find that the six mana is a little bit clunky. Um, I find that it gets stuck in my hand a lot. It doesn't solve the problem if you're facing threats. You know, it delays it, but it doesn't solve it. They come back eventually. The tokens are nice, but I just... Also with Conqueror's Death is great. It, it can kill something or it gets rid of an, a Planeswalker, a big threat, whatever. It's gone forever. It makes your opponent's next turn a little bit clunky because their stuff gets more expensive. And then you get something back from the graveyard, so that's always cool. You get an Archon back. Maybe you get something of theirs back. That's cool. And also, while it's on the battlefield it's an enchantment it counts as an enchantment it'll put a pegasus token out with archon you know it'll make shambling suit bigger all that stuff so uh it's a great enchantment that does cool stuff for our deck so i prefer it over banish so that's all of our official upgrades you can also upgrade the mana base though with fable passages pathways you can also replace the tap lands of the deck with more temples um all of these are great pathways and fable passages can go in place of basics and temples can go in place of the tap lands that are already in the deck because scrying is usually a little bit better than just gaining life so all of these will vastly improve your mana base help you not get color screwed quite as often and i do want to say that while we are in a much better place uh here's the deck list that we have if you have the rare deck list it's pretty good i really like where this is at right now but there are some inefficiencies so shambling suit and archon are not perfectly like matched together right because the archon isn't an enchantment it doesn't actually fit with our theme in the sense that it won't trigger enchantment stuff so if we have the suit in play and we play archon it's not going to power up the suit so that's a problem and then the inverse of that is archon only cares about enchantments so shambling suit being an artifact creature doesn't actually help with the archon so there's a little bit of an inefficiency there and that's also true for the owl um in the case of the owl i just like it so much because it can get something else that i don't care if it's not going to put out a token with archon but in the case of shambling suit since it doesn't get us another card having it not synergize with archon is imperfect it, it's like it's not terrible but it's it's not ideal i also like really want to increase omen of the seas there's only two or three in the deck uh you can see it on screen um i would like to get a full four copies of omen of the sea and maybe a fourth copy of all that glitters as well all that glitters it's a card that you basically always want but you don't want to draw too many copies because you need a creature in play and the creature count in the stack is a little bit lower than i would like we have a lot of like enchantments that control the board like banishing light uh, elspeth conquers death we have the omen of the sea and stuff so the creature count is a so high so getting four um all that glitters even though i really want them like every game i'm scared of drawing too many of them but definitely i would love to to get four omen of the sea so there are like some little things that i would still want to tweak but overall um i'll show you both decks uh they, they feel much more powerful they feel much more focused and we, we cut out all those like really inefficient you no know, bad enchantment creatures that weren't really doing anything so yeah if you want to try these decks guys um i will leave 
the deck list in the description. I will post them as the uh, Magic Arena format. So all you have to do is copy them and then go to your decks on Arena and import. It won't auto craft or anything. It'll just add the deck to your decks. And then you can open it, look at it and decide if you want to hit the draft button and craft things or change it. Like maybe you don't want to add all the rare lands. You can take the rare lands out, replace them with basics, stuff like that. You know, your choice, but you can import them. Check them out. See for yourself. And uh, yeah, they'll be there in the description. But uh, for now, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope that was helpful and I will see you in the next one.